my name is Yvonne Smith, and I am the traveling vegetarian, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes as we speak. I'm on my way to San Francisco in two days for a reunion of sorts, and I'm going to actually be doing some filming there at the Loving Hut in San Francisco. I've never been to that location, so I'm pretty excited to try it out, and uh, I'll be able to share some actual pictures of food and eating and all that kind of stuff with everybody soon, so I'm very excited about that. I'm um, also just excited to reconnect with old friends and do all that kind of stuff. So I'll be in San Francisco and Santa Rosa, which is my hometown, and um, it'll, be a good, it'll be a good trip. My car rental is costing me $400 for four days, which is total insanity. I mean, my airfare wouldn't have cost that much. Luckily, I have my free flight with Southwest, but I, I'm just totally blown away that the car rental is costing me that much. But since I'm going to be all over the Bay Area, got to do it. So also hoping to eat at Millennium while I'm there. I need to uh, figure out when I can do that. But, you know, you can't, it's hard to be in San Francisco and not eat at Millennium. So I'm um, going to a couple other places as well. Not quite sure, but uh, I'm sure it'll be wonderful. And I'll take lots and lots of photos as usual. So please stay tuned to my website for that. Speaking of my website, I got voted uh, one of the top ten vegetarian websites, which is pretty cool. That was from Veg News, and it was an article in the Santa Cruz Examiner, I believe. Um, I have the, uh, the link to that article on my Facebook page, but I need to post it on my website as well. So, um, And also speaking of my website, I uh, just posted a restaurant review um, for all you Nashvillians that are watching. I went to Boundary the other night and called ahead and told them that some vegans were coming, and they went crazy. They I got a six-course meal. It was amazing. It was really um, a pleasant surprise for Nashville. I mean, not to say that we don't have great chefs in Nashville, because we do. But um, they, I wouldn't say that a lot of them always rise to the challenge um, the, way that, the way that Boundary did. So I'm really, really excited about what they created for us. And that is all documented on my website. I put pictures of every course, and that's all there for you to see if you are interested. And uh, while I'm at it, I wanted to talk about some more food-related things, of course, because that's what I do. One is that I made an amazing, I have to say myself, it was really good, uh, basil cream sauce the other night. It was just three parts cashews, ten parts water, one part um, ume plum vinegar um, in the blender, and then, you know, just blend it up so that it's, it's watery, and then put in a couple handfuls of basil. I had some CSA fresh organic basil that I needed a use for because it was starting to get, turn brown, so I threw that in. Put it over the stove. It thickened. I mean, cashews are amazing. They thicken just like any other cream sauce is supposed to. And it was this rich, creamy, basil-y, oh, my gosh, it was so good. Make it. <laughs> it was so good. I put the recipe on my Facebook page um, if you didn't catch that. But it's, it was so easy. It was unbelievable. So And, and so, so good. It would have been great over pasta. I actually put it in the freezer because I didn't want it at the moment. I just wanted to get rid of the basil. So, But I can't wait to eat it. I did maybe eat a couple spoonfuls of it because it was so good. I couldn't stop. But, yeah, I'm really excited about that. But also speaking of cooking, people ask me all the time what my favorite cookbook is. And I don't use a lot of cookbooks. I have some good ones, but I don't use them all the time. But this one, Veganomicon by Issa Chandra and Terry is amazing. It's really just kind of like, it's a very comprehensive book. They've got everything in this. Um, I love the enchilada sauce. I love the uh, cashew ricotta cheese or ricotta, I'm sure you're supposed to say, but it's so, so good. It's one of the things that I make all the time and people always ask for it. People sometimes joke that they just invite me to places just so that I'll bring the cashew ricotta. So I, I hope that it's more than that, but they do love it. And in the summertime when basil is fresh, I throw some fresh basil in that too, and it's amazing. Another book that I really love is Great Chefs Cook Vegan. This is by my dear, dear friend, Linda Long. I absolutely love this woman, and I love this book. It's just full of the most beautiful, beautiful photographs. And she basically inspired a bunch of chefs who were non-vegan to cook vegan food. So good on her for doing that. I love doing that as well. Of course, I didn't make a book out of it, but she, she went the whole, the whole nine yards and did that. So I really am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here, so I'm going to cut this short. But thanks for tuning in. Um, I will talk to you soon, and I'll hopefully have all kinds of really cool photos and news from my trip to San Francisco. So have a great weekend. Thanks.